Two people have died following a shootout at a hookah lounge in Hayward. And as Jose Martinez reports, the lounge has been a trouble spot, both for police and for businesses. It's been a very intense day here in Hayward, where residents and business owners tell me they're still in shock after finding out about this shooting that happened just a few steps away from where we're standing right now. Janet Ramirez had just opened her nail salon in Hayward for the day when she heard the news. There had been a shooting just a block away from her business early that morning. She couldn't believe it. She says it's pretty safe around here, but there had been another incident there before in that same place. Janet was in shock as she thought about the victims and their families. The shooting was reported at 1.38 a.m. Sheriff's deputies arrived within five minutes and immediately saw one person dead in front of the business. Dispatchers then received calls from local hospitals reporting three gunshot wound victims arriving. One of the victims died from injuries at a hospital. Janet says everyone has been talking about this for a while, all the neighbors mainly because the shooting occurred outside of a hookah lounge recently shot down by the city. The sheriff's office said the city had recently shot this place down, but it was operating illegally. We received a lot of complaints about this place. Um, our crime prevention units, our, our crime prevention and our crime reduction unit has been out here a number of times over the past two years along with the Board of Zoning and Adjustments and Code Enforcement. The Sheriff's Office said they had been dealing with the problems attributed to the hookah lounge for the last two years. This place has received multiple fines. Um, as you see from the front of the building, they take their sign they've taken their signage down as if the business is closed, but they've obviously continued to operate. As the day went on, Janet tells me she continued to think about the shooting. She says she hopes violent incidents like this one don't affect the sense of security in the neighborhood. And Janet tells me she usually feels safe in this area, but she's looking forward to seeing a bigger and more aggressive response from the city.